Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. Space Crew is the game and Battlestar Galactica is the name. And uh, this is my uh, campaign. Pay tribute to my favorite all-time space show of all time. So say we all. All right, uh, let's do Clear Out Phasmid Forces. So, okay, that looks good. Not a whole lot of money, but... Just looking to buy up the seven escape pods that I need for this ship. So, so glad that I moved, moved stuff around here. So, learning this game a little bit better, so it's allowing me to make better decisions, if you will. So, anyway, okay, here we go. Two objectives. All right, here we go. We're off. Okay, incoming enemies. Oh, okay. So we're going to... We're going to do this. We're going to sit in space, increase our weapons, call in fighter support. Boom, boom, boom. Blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. Excellent shooting. Gunners. Of course, this is the crew of the Battlestar Galactica. Of course they'd be excellent shots. Shields are holding up better. We lost our shield on, I don't know if that's the right, that's gotta be the left. I think it's opposite on here on this little gauge here. Anyway, our shields are uh, recharging, so. Okay. I think that's it. Well, we cleared enemies, return to base. That's it? There's gotta be more. Give me a little bit something more. Can I go anywhere else? I don't think so. I can't jump to another system. Do uh, one of those option things. This, well, that was kind of boring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it was, I mean, hell. And easy, too. Not just boring, but easy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Alright. See, this is why I run two mission blocks. So, in case the first mission is just like Casper Milk Toast. I can do something a little bit tougher on the next mission. Anyway. Good looking ship, isn't it? All right, let's buy that last escape pod I need. Increases weapon damage, but will cause a radiation leak weapon. I have yet to use that. I've yet to radiation leak. I may want to wait till I can get them radiation suits and more protection from radiation before I do that. So anyway, let's get that last escape pod. And I'll have enough for everybody. I might just save the rest of my money to armor. Well, no, we're looking at getting that armor upgraded. I ain't gonna be able to do a whole lot, so let's do front and back. I don't have enough money, damn, okay. Well, that's what another mission's for, get us more money. The main champion, that will bring us, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> That'll give us enough money, that'll give us $4,000. Now we can take him out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm quite certain we can take him out. 
So this is going after what the equivalent in Bomber Crew would be an enemy ace. So, but they're called champions, I guess, in this game. All righty. Navigate to Mercury, locate champion Hewitt, Hupin Garrett. Hupin, what a name, Hupin. I guess that's why he's an, he's an alien. He's got a weird name. Space alien, not Earth alien. Ooh, okay. Now we got option here. That's what I want to do. Where is that thing? Optional. Okay, where is it? Who objective? I guess that's not here. It's to Earth. So where is this? There it is. That's what I want. Couldn't see a damn thing. Oh, what do we got broke? Let's get it fixed. That is the shield. The shield system. Apollo will fix it. Yeah, that regenerates the shields. So we're going to want that fixed. Alrighty, less engine and more on the power. Actually, we don't need the shields because it's not firing back at us. So we need more po uh, power to the weapons. We'll save our focus for the enemy. See, I, I want to say ace, but it's enemy champion in this game. So I'll just call it ace. I mean, it's the same damn thing. Oh, we got enemy fighters here too. Shields are still holding up good, so. Okay, this is. So we'll increase the weapons now. Ah. Gotta now with the gravity system is down, so we gotta get that repaired. And we will. Okay, Athena, back to your station. You put that there, I guess. Oxygen system that needs to be repaired big time. It must have been damaged that the aliens did when they got on board. They like to shoot out our systems and stuff like that, which I guess makes sense. You think they would go after the crew, but uh, more likely shooting at systems. But you know, if you destroy the systems, I mean, kill the crew, but. If you destroy it, kill the crew, they can't fix the systems. Maybe a little. All right, two objectives. Maybe a little short-sighted on their behalf, maybe. Uh, I would be uh, targeting the crew. But I'm uh, okay. glad I guess they don't. Okay, we only need one gravity, probably. All right. We shall make our jump here. And right, we'll get the Mercury. Okay, 
oh, this is where he's at. So, we're going to... We got him, almost got him, we got him. He is out. We have him defeated. <laughs> Hugh Penn Garrett says, no, first contact has turned into worst contact. That's it. We can have her home now. All right, two base. Well, that, again, that went fairly easy. Could be because I'm just learning this game better. Could that be it? I mean, the models after Bomber Crew because the missions do get harder. Base. Increase our power to weapons again. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. As soon as we do that, they start blowing up. the engines. Let's get out of here. Get up. Going home. We, we did a lot of stuff in this mission. A lot more than we did in the last mission, it seems like. But anyway. Now the important thing is getting home. And we're home. We defeated Hugh Penn Garrett. We destroyed that, uh, what do you call it? Thing in space, I don't know what it's called. Can't think of it right now. We, we destroyed it, so what the heck. <clears throat> All righty. He's down for the count. 4,000 bucks, too. Oh, outpost. Yeah, the Phasmid outpost is destroyed. Okay. We got 250 bucks for that, too. <coughs> Good. We can do face pistols now. <coughs> so we go into crew gear. Excuse me. Ah. Everybody's going to get a face pistol, except for Apollo. So that's one thing I love about this. Phase pistol. Yes. Equip. Then that way, the, when we get enemy borders, aliens at the border. Now, Athena's not going to get one because she has a laser rifle. So, and then laser pistol for Boomer. Which I always thought looked cool on Battlestar Glad. Their laser pistols were definitely cool. My favorite scene, obviously, would be a Man with Nine Lives scene where they're, they're confronting those brilliant gnomes and asking why they didn't get on that. Uh, shuttle to leave the rising star and then uh, the youngest one goes for his, a laser bowl and then boomer and apollo are just boom right on him with their laser pistol i mean just quickest draw ever in space fantasy it's got to be the act the quickest draw i mean it's just pfft. then they just ooh. of course they all the politics of the brilliant omen and stuff like that their honor has been 
hurt snowflakes. So could the Beryllian Nomen see that they could totally redo and come back and do Battlestar Galactica because I'm betting anything the Cylons could not defeat the Beryllian Nomen. I'm betting anything they lost their butts to them. And and they could do see I got an idea of uh all the colonies had a whole world underneath the planet, underground. You know, buildings and food supplies and even vipers. And they just move all the survivors into that area and fight the Cylons that way. See, that's an idea to bring Battlestar Galactica back. The original idea, not the new Battlestar Galactica. Anyway, I'm, I'm done on that. Anyway, <clears throat> and that should do it for these two missions. I'm Corky Duke, Corky Duke .com. That was the 7th and 8th mission of Battlestar Galactica and Space Crew. Thanks for watching. Uh, you heard my uh, beef, my ideas. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.